Hey everybody, Dr. Troy here. I want to welcome you to my facility here in Dallas, Texas. I'm really excited to introduce you to one of my clients and a good friend of mine, Ryan Palmer. He's been on the PGA Tour for 19 years, uh, four-time PGA Tour champion. So I'm excited to kind of show you guys what we do behind the scenes week to week out here on the PGA Tour. Ryan's been playing on the tour for 19 years now, and obviously a big priority for him has been injury prevention uh, and longevity. So these are really good exercises that we go through to make sure he stays healthy and performs at a high level. So the first exercise we're going to do, Ryan, want to grab this? We're going to go a half kneeling, low to high chop. Okay. So we're going to do a mid-level anchor point, and basically you use the swing trainer. And basically what we're going to do is Ryan's basically going to go pull towards his chest, rotate towards me, and press up high. If you look at his hand placements, go ahead and stop trying. If you want to go G5 to G1, it's going to be a little bit easier. And if you want a little more resistance, you can go in closer G4 to G2 hand positioning. Okay? So whatever you feel comfortable with, whatever your fitness level is at, you go ahead and do what's best for you. So maybe you want to go a little bit more towards me, Ryan, get a little more tension. And you can play with the tension as well. So let's go two sets, eight reps. So do you want to pull towards me? Yep, and press. Yep, there we go. One, two, press all the way up. We want to press all the way up high, up here. There we go. That's four, good. Five, let's go three more. Six, two, good. One, press, good. Okay, then we're gonna grab, go the other way. So Ryan's gonna grab the other swing trainer. So let's go wide this time. Just change up your grips. Yep, there you go, perfect. So you wanna stand tall. There you go. Use that core. Okay, that's a really good core work, good glute work. And a press high, good. Three, four, five, six, two more. Let's go. Seven, eight. Good. And relax. How'd that feel? That's good. I always tell which side's least is the worst side for me. So going left is the weaker link. Harder as far as my left side being weaker. But as a right handed golfer, I mean, the power is here, but I feel like that's a little tighter today going this way. But this is the one thing that I do the most of just because. It loosens up my core area a lot more in my warm-ups. And... Yeah, the good thing about this exercise is it takes the lower part out for the most part and just engages the, the core and your stability in, the, in your uh, core area. So here we go for the second set with Ryan. Okay, again, eight reps, good turn. Really extend those arms up, press. So we want to go, turn, come towards me, turn that way, okay? There you go, five, six, Seven, eight, press, good. Okay, switch sides. Again, positioning is important. Make sure that core is engaged, glutes engaged. Get the good tension, good hand positioning. Pull, press, there you go. That's three, four, all the way up. Five, press, six, two more. Press here, hold. There you go. One more, press. Nice, good. Good job, Ryan. Okay, second exercise. It's a sitting to kneeling, press, okay, and rotation. So what we're gonna do here, Ryan's gonna sit on his heels, and as he sits up, I'm just gonna do a demonstration here, rep, and he's gonna basically press forward over his head, oh, overhead, overhead first, yep. Then go back down in front. Good, rotate, and then kind of sit back on your heels again, pull back in, okay? So the way we want to do this one is just kind of sit down for a sec, Ryan. So again, hand positioning, you can go G2, G4, good, yep. Again, mid anchor point, and you're gonna sit on your heels, and as you sit on your heels, you're gonna engage the glutes and engage the core, okay? So this is a multi-planar exercise. We're gonna do eight reps. There you go, sit back down, pull towards your chest. Ready? Uh, up. Press. Overhead. Back down. Rotate. Pull it towards your body. Sit. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Press over your head. So multi-planar motion. We want a lot of rotation. Okay. We want over the head, more of a sagittal plane. 
But a big thing too when we deal with golfers is a lot of shoulder mobility. So as he's sitting up and pressing and putting over his head, he wants, I want really good shoulder mobility as well, okay? So that's five, he's got three more, sit. Good, press, rotation, good. Pull towards your chest, yep, two more. Press, lift, back down, rotate. There you go, good. Sit down, press one more. Good, okay, let's switch sides. All right, start sitting on down on your heels. Yep, here we go. Perfect, yep. Again, G2, G2, G4 hand positioning. You're gonna sit on your heels. He's gonna sit up and press forward, reach over his head, get a good shoulder mobility, rotate the opposite way. Try to keep the arms, go ahead, straight as you're rotating. And ro rotate the arms straight, yeah, there we go, perfect. Sit back on your heels. Good, this is three, we got five more, up, back down, arm straight, rotate around, good. Really engage that core, really get a good turn. Press, lift, good, here we go, up, over the head, good, there you go. Okay, okay, we got two more here, good rotation, really work that core, work those glutes. One, good. Rotate through, pull down, have a seat. Perfect. Okay, that exercise is a really good exercise for core strength, for shoulder mobility. Okay, it's also an anti-rotation type exercise as well. And so it's very multi-planar. So there's a little bit of a learning curve, so just be patient with it. Um, and again, if you can do more and your fitness level is a little higher, um, keep going and you know just keep getting, uh, go longer and go stronger, okay? That's a good one for my shoulders with the I've had both shoulder scopes, so it's bringing back more range of motion for me with yeah, the old man shoulders. I think the biggest thing is just, especially when we deal with golfers, the big body parts you want to keep moving is your hips, your shoulders, and your mid-back, right? So this kind of incorporates all of those in that, in that exercise. So it's really important to get those guys full range of motion and really exaggerate the turn. That's really, really important. And you're actually creating the mid-back rotating around the stable pelvis as well, which is really important in the golf swing. So, okay. One more set. Yep. As you start learning this exercise, because I said there's a little bit of a learning curve, as you start learning this exercise, you can go a little quicker, a little more explosive movements, a little more tension. Oh, better be careful. Yep, over, good. Good, so Ryan's gonna add a little bit more speed. Make sure that bar comes to your chest as you kneel down. That's three, sit back, there you go, press. Lift, good, rotate. So you got a little bit of speed to this for sure. Good, that's four. Good, that's five, we got three more, come on. Press, lift, good, rotate around. Watch your hand positioning, G2, G4. Good, rotate around and sit. Last one, here we go, and back down. Good, okay, switch sides. Recommend the mat. <laughs> Towel moves easy. <laughs> Just put your toes on the ground if you can. If not, we can use a mat. Oh, there you go, that's easy. So G4, G. So let's just change up That's a little harder, bit. Or would this be? Yeah, so let's go a little wider now. So we've got the G1, G5 hand placement. Okay, so a little bit wider. Yep, there we go. Press, lift. Good. And down. Let's go eight times. Good. Sit back down. Press. Good. Good, let's go, four more. Good overhead, good rotation. Press, lift, good. Good, two more, let's go. And 
one last one. Good. You can see as you start doing this, you're going to get a lot more better turn and you're going to get a lot more shoulder mobility. You can actually see with Ryan as he's going through the exercises, his shoulders are opening up more and more every set, every rep. So you'll notice that, which is great. And this is just a really good exercise to really get those joints to open up. So again, two sets, eight reps. Um, really get hand position G2, G4, or G1, G5, depending on how strong you are and how much you want to push yourself. And again, just, just keep going. Do three sets, four sets, depending on how much time you have and how much you want to push yourself. How'd that feel, Ryan? Sweating. Sweating? Good. Already. So we got a good, good sweat already. All right, third, third exercise in this series is a split stance rotation. So we're going to do a mid-level anchor point. Ryan, you're going to grab your swing trainer. G2, G4 hand placement. Okay. Then we're getting into a split stance. Knee down. Split stance. There we go. Yep, perfect. A knee down? Nope. Okay. Split stance. Okay. So a couple things I want to show you guys on this one. A lot of times when a lot of people get into this position, you can see where Ryan's at. Go ahead. So Ryan is more in a quad dominant position, right? And so as a golfer, for whatever reason, they always want to get into the quad dominant, where I want you more in the glute dominant. So go back in that position. What I want you to do, you're going to come up like this, and you're going to create a spine angle. And your spine, your back, should be in line with the back leg. And if you're in this position like this, you can really feel the glute fire. If Ryan goes upright and squats down, then it's all quad. We don't want that one in this exercise, okay? For me, it's almost, I'm in a golf position. Yep, golf position and back leg extends back. Yep, there you go. So I can actually hit a golf shot from here if I needed to. Yep. And just, uh, so G2, G4, okay? I'd like a little bit better spine angle for it. Yep, shoulder blades come back. Watch your neck position. Okay, we're gonna do two sets, eight reps. Right, he's gonna rotate around me. So let's go eight times. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, relax. Okay, we're gonna switch sides. Really, really focus on your posture and where your body positioning is. A lot of times what people will start doing is they will start standing up as they fatigue and get tired. You really want to stay down and stay in posture. I'm always a big, big advocate when I train these guys and for you viewers at home is to train while you're in posture. So when you're playing the game of golf and as you get tired and fatigued, you're, able, you're training your body to stay in the posture. So kind of a, yep, and we want a little bit of a spine angle here, forward. Bring your back leg, Ryan, further back. There we go, yep. And then come a little forward, good, here we go. Okay, here we go. Eight reps. G2, G4 hand positioning. You're going to basically turn around that left hip here. So really engage that left glute. Four. Keep going, guys. Five, six, seven, eight. Good. Nice. Okay. Then we're going to switch sides. Go back to the next one. So these next two, what we're going to do is we're going to change your hand positioning. Same one. Split stance. Give these guys a breather. <laughs> okay. Here we go. So you want G5 and G1? Yep. So a little wider. So now when you're a little wider, it's going to create a bigger arc, right? And so also in the, in the game of golf, the bigger the arc, the greater the width of your swing is, the more power you can create. So I'm always a big advocate, especially in the gym in a controlled environment, to improve those movement patterns while we're training so we can carry that onto the golf course. There you go. And as you can see now, Ryan's got a lot bigger swing, a lot bigger art, a lot wider. So that's what I want to see you guys do at home as well. That's four, that's five, that's six, seven, eight. Good. Okay. Here we go. So left leg forward, left leg. Yep. I knew that. Yep. Step back a little bit more. There you go. Here we go, one, here we go, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, good, awesome. Really good exercise, really effective, very good in strengthening and stabilizing each leg and each hip independently and also creating, again, I'm always big on the upper body rotating around a stable base, which is really important. And as we rotate around that lead hip, you're actually creating a lot of hip mobility as well as you're creating a lot of hip stability. So really, really good exercise, really important to do. Like that one? That's good, right? That's a, 
That's in there every day. Yeah, that, that's pretty much in every day for our guys, especially yeah. on the road. It's just a good way, whether in the hotel room, whether in the gym, at, at the golf course, or wherever, that's a good one for us to really get going and moving on. All right, next exercise in this series is the reverse kneel press, okay? And so Ryan's gonna demonstrate this. What we're gonna do is basically gonna have an anchor point in midpoint. Ryan's gonna face away from you guys right now. We'll just demonstrate this one time so you get a bit of visual and then we'll kind of go through the exercises. So what he's gonna do, the biggest thing what we wanna we want do when you're doing this, you're gonna face away from the anchor point, it's gonna be behind you. You want the tension in line with the form. Okay, so you don't wanna to get too far over or too far one way or the other. You want it kind of parallel with each other so you get a good uh, tension, you know, that's even. So but what he's gonna do, he's gonna start in the kneeling position. So what we're gonna do with Ryan is as, as we're gonna go through his exercises, the leg that's kneeling down is on the opposite side where the anchor point is, and the leg that's gonna come up in, is also the opposite side where the anchor point is. So for him right now, the anchor point's on the left, and the right leg is, right knee is down. So let's go try. And as we kneel down, good, okay. Okay, so. As you can tell, good balance of gut. So this is a tough exercise, you know, so again, there's gonna be a learning curve on this one. So this one's gonna create a lot of balance while trying to pull you out of balance, right? So the tension, the unilateral tension is trying to pull you, him right now to the left, and he's trying to stabilize on the left leg. So it's really good one for balance, there we go. So let's just go eight reps. Kneel down, ready, here we go. One, two, good. Three, keep going. Four, you're halfway there, come on. Five, six, two more, seven, eight. Awesome, good job. Okay. So this one is a little bit different than the, the first couple we did in the series. This is in what was called more of a forward backward plane of motion, what we call the sagittal plane. But it's really good as he's stepping down, as he steps up and pressing, he's driving that leg behind him. So he's creating a lot of that you know, hip extension, which is really important in the golf swing. Okay, so again, good setup. Now the, on the opposite side, the left knee's down, the anchor point's on the right. Okay, so he's gonna start with the, the chest, there we go and he's gonna step up and press. There you go. So now the left knee comes up and the left knee goes down. Here we go, ready? Good balance. Here we go, eight times. One, <laughs> two, three, four, press. Five, three more. Come on, you keep going, you got three more left. Here we go, two more. Hope your balance is better than mine. One. <laughs> Two, good. So, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> so one thing that we, we always talk about, Ryan and I and a lot of my clients, and even you guys at home now, when you, if you follow some of my videos, some of my series, when you go through certain exercises and you break the body down between the right and left side, your weak side is always gonna get exposed. And so based on this, just for you guys watching what Brian just did, which side do you think is his weak link? Which is right hip, right? So, and that's something we work on all the time. So I can always recommend too, if you're going through this and one side feels a little more unstable, a little weaker, a little, you know, just harder to do, I, I'm fine with you doing an extra set on the weak side because you always want the, you to be balanced as best as you can between the left and right side of your body. Okay, and we'll do that with our guys too. Um, we'll do a lot of times with Ryan because we know that weak hip is sometimes gets a little off. Go ahead and side, Ryan. We'll go I mean, I here. find myself, my right hip giving out more and more, but when I start doing this kind of type of stuff, it's flared up less over the past few months, so. Yeah. The, the greatest. see the working. The, yeah, the greatest thing with the, the swing training, like I've always said, is it exposes your weaknesses, which is really, really important. And when you know when your weaknesses are, those are things you get to work on. And that's really critical, especially when you're playing the game of golf, because the game of golf is a unilateral movement, and it creates imbalances. And so the great thing with the swing trainer, the swing trainer actually reduces the imbalances that occur in the body. Here we go, here we go. And you'll see the difference here. Ryan's pretty strong in that left hip. And you can see his, his movement's a lot more efficient. Okay, here we go. We've got three, four, five, six. Two more, keep it going. Press, good. One more, press, good. Awesome. All right, last one, here we go. Almost there. Good thing is it doesn't expose the weaknesses in my golf games. Just this part. <laughs> Let's see, I'm already confused. 
There we go. Left knee down. There we go. So left knee down, anchor points on the right. I'm going to be a little picky of one more thing. And my guys are always, I'm always on these, my guys. When you time you do the swing trainer exercise, see Ryan's wrist right here? I don't like these wrists. I'm always big on strong, neutral wrists. You can generate more power if your wrists are neutral as compared to wrists being broken, okay? And golfers' wrists are their bread and butter. They, that's the golden egg for these guys. So we really don't want to have injured wrists. Okay, here we go. Eight reps. Here we go. One, two, good. Up, press. Up. Now when you're going up and you're stepping up, don't forget to engage your core, right? Here we go. Five, press. Engage that core. Six, seven. Last one, here we go, press, good, awesome. Okay, great job, Brian. That'll be in the outtakes. <clears throat> More outtakes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's a good one. Again, it, it, we're basically going forward and backwards again, and we're just creating drive of the leg. And, but the biggest thing is, it's an anti-rotation. It really wants to pull you one side to the other, and you really gotta engage the core, but you also have to balance on that one, one leg as you're pressing the swing trainer forward, okay? So I hope you enjoyed that one. All right, the last exercise in this series is a 45 degree press. Rotation, okay? Awesome exercise. It's gonna challenge your core. You have to work really hard on this one. It's, a, it's more of a static move. And then Ryan's gonna kind of show you what he's done in the, in the past and kind of modify it. So it's, this is a really cool exercise. I really enjoy this one. This one's a tough one to do. So 45 degree, we'll just kind of walk you through this. Good demonstration. So again, mid anchor point. His hand placement is G1, G5. Again, golf posture, right? So the way we can play this game, if Ryan stands up, and I put the golf trainer right in my crease of my hip and I push back, perfect posture. That's a good way of setting that up, okay? And then what he's gonna do, he's gonna do a 45 degree turn away from the anchor point, okay? Again, strong wrists. I'm gonna be big on this, neutral strong wrists, okay? So now it's really trying to pull you, and Ryan's gotta work really hard in the core and the glutes, the feet, to now allow that band to pull you to the left. So we're gonna scramp a little bit more, good. And then we're gonna press, here we go. So Ryan's you're gonna do a five press, five second hold with a five rotations. Four, three, two, one, and then we're gonna rotate. Two, three, four, five. Good. And then back out a bit. Yep. Yeah, that's that's one of the main ones I've started using more often. He made the best point using my legs in my golf posture because the power I generate comes from the ground up. So I'm able to use my feet and my legs. This strength strengthens everything from, like I said, my legs, my glutes, and even the core as well. And it's usually one of the last exercises I do before heading to get ready on the range or wherever it is and I've got to do next. But this is uh, definitely one that's in my pre-round workout every day Good. out on tour. All right, let's go the other way. All right, so what he's gonna do again, he's gonna mid-anchor point, <clears throat> a little bit of a better spine angle. There we go. Perfect, okay. So two steps, 45 degree turn. Okay, good. Do this one here. Okay, a little bit more spine angle. There you go, yep, perfect. Neutral wrists, there we go, five press. One, two, three, four, five. Good, we're gonna hold five seconds. Four, three, two, one and five rotations. Good. Three, four, five. Good. Hold and come back out of it. Good. All right. Last one. How are you feeling? It's good. Working hard. How's everybody doing? Everybody sorest, doing good? One of the sorest days I ever had after workout had nothing to do with weights. We did this for a straight 45 minutes. And every exercise was used with this trainer, and it was one of the sorest mornings I've had. That is true. Not even using one weight. We did a, we did a swing trainer, a complete circuit workout with Ryan just before tournament week, because we don't really push a lot of weight before tournament weeks. And he called me the next day, he said, this is the sorest I ever felt, and he never lifted one weight. So for, for Ryan to be at the level he's at in the game of his golf he's at, that's, that's really cool to hear and really beneficial how hard and challenges, this challenges the guys. So, all well, right. Let's go better. When you're at home, let's get a really good spine angle again, right? So Ryan really wants to stand up sometimes. Here we go, yep. Here we go, so here we go at home, you ready? Two steps, 45 degree turn away from the anchor point. 
neutral wrist, five press. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Five second hold. Four, three, two, one. And then a five rotation. Good. Two, three, four, five. Good. Get out of it. Nice. All right, last one. One of the things too, just while you're at home, again, again I'm always nitpicky, is I always want to make sure the, te the, the band's in front of you, right, the tension. Don't get too far ahead of the anchor point or too far back. So really make sure it's just right in front of you. Good posture, good spine angle, two steps, neutral wrists, core's engaged, glutes engaged, feet are working hard on the ground. Here we go, five, three, two, one, good. Five second hold, hang in there, three, Two, one, and then five rotations. Let's go. Four, three, two, one, and hold again, and then get out of it. Awesome, good job. All right, everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed that series. That's a really good workout that Ryan and I have done in the past, and obviously during the tournament weeks and here at home in Dallas. Um, again, challenge yourself, work hard at it. If there's more time and you want to challenge yourself even more, go for it. Uh, wish you the best, and we'll see you out on the golf course. Never miss the latest videos from your Dr. Design golf fitness experts. Subscribe now.